Hi, I'm Andrew Malka. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install your favorite Linux distribution on Windows 10 using the Windows subsystem for Linux 2 or shortly WSL. This will allow us later to install and configure our favorite tools to do the container management like Builder, Podman or Docker. So please subscribe to my channel to not miss my next video about these amazing tools. But right now, let's focus on the installation of uh, Linux distribution and WSL2. But before I will start, I would like to install, I will not afraid to say that, the best ever tool for Windows if you are going to work with shells. And this is the Windows Terminal. To install the Windows Terminal, I'm going to click Start and type in the search Store. I will click on the Microsoft Store and inside the Microsoft Store I click Search and inside the search I type Windows Terminal. There are two versions of Windows Terminal, the Stable and the Preview. And I will use the Preview version yeah, because it has the latest functionality. I click Get, I don't want to sign in. And the installation starts. And the terminal is installed. I just click Launch. And my terminal is here. So I close the Windows Store. And I will pin my terminal to a taskbar to not lost it. And right now, when we have our terminal installed, so we can actually start the installation of WSL2. But before I will jump to the installation process. Let's check what Windows version we have. To do that, just type in terminal WinVer, it stands for the Windows version, and click Enter. And in my case, I have version of the build, it's 19042. If you have your build version less than 18362, then it means that you have to update your Windows first before you can continue with WSL2. But in my case, it looks okay. And I also want to tell you that for future Windows, there will be a simplified installation process for WSL. But because we are not using the future versions now, uh, we need to stick to the manual process. But please, don't be afraid. This is a very simple process, even if it's manual, but it's very simple. So let's jump straight to it. And the first step that we need to run is to enable the Windows feature, which called Windows Subsystem for Linux. And to do this, I just type the command dism.exe, then slash online, then slash enable feature, then slash feature name, and the name will be the Microsoft Windows subsystem Linux, then another flag slash all and slash more restart. Please don't be scared. Don't try to remember these commands. I will share these commands in, in the description to this video so you can just simply copy paste it from there. I click enter and the feature is enabled to my Windows. The second step we need to enable the virtual machine feature because WSL2 will run a small, a tiny virtual machine inside the Windows which will contain our distribution. And to do that, I just click the arrow up on my keyboard uh, that will show me the last command that I typed and I just need to change the feature name from Microsoft Windows Subsystem Linux to Virtual Machine Platform. And I don't need to change anything else, I just press enter. And this feature is enabled as well. So the third step that we need to run is we need to go to our browser and download the WSL2 update package. I run my browser where I will type the URL. Again, don't try to remember this URL, I will share it in the description to this video so you can simply just copy paste it to your browser. And I type HTTPS 
WSL store storage dot blob dot core dot windows dot net slash WSL blob slash WSL underscore update underscore x64 dot msi and i click enter and as you can see the file is downloaded i click on three dots and click show in folder which will open my windows explorer to show me this file i click on it and it says the update only applies to machines with the Windows subsystem for Linux. So it, it doesn't see that my Windows subsystem for Linux is activated for my Windows. And actually to show that uh, to the system, I need to restart my computer. And to do this, I'm going to click on Windows, click on the power and click restart. And my computer is restarted. So I will try to run this uh, package again. I go to my file explorer and I click downloads and I run it again. This time it doesn't show anything and it allow us to continue. And I click next and it's actually done. And I click finish. And the next step that I need to do, I need to say to WSL to use the, uh, the second version of the WSL by default. I just go to my terminal and type the command WSL hyphen hyphen uh, set hyphen default hyphen version and then two. And it's done. And we actually finished almost with everything. The only thing that's left is go to the Windows Store and install our favorite Linux distribution. To do this, I click on Start, I type Store, and I click on the Microsoft Store. And in Search, I type Linux. And as you can see, there are multiple Linux distributions available for Windows subsystem. And as you can see, there is a Ubuntu, Kali Linux, Debian, SUSE Linux, and etc. So you can select your favorite. In my case, I'm going to install Ubuntu 20.04. So I click on Ubuntu 20.04 and I click Get. I'm not going to sign in. And the installation starts. And the process is completed, but to finish it completely, I need to click Launch. And then as you can see, it says that it's installing Ubuntu and this will take a few minutes. And it's done. And now Ubuntu asks us for a username. I type my username. Now it asks for a password to set a new password. And I type my password, I click enter. Now we need to retype the password to confirm. And I click enter. And actually it's done. As you can see, we're now using Ubuntu 20.04 and on GNU Linux. And the kernel version is 5.472 Microsoft Standard WSL2. I will close this window. And I'm going to close the Windows Store and I'm going to close my File Explorer. And right now, if I open my terminal again and I click on the arrow down to open a new tab, I will see Ubuntu 20.04 in my list. If I click there, the Ubuntu shell will be open in my terminal. So the first thing that I want to tell you is if, if you look at uh, the folder where we are, you see there is a uh, MNTC users and Malkov, and it means that uh, we have drive C uh, folder users and folder and Malkov, which, which actually mapped to a Linux file system. 
Uh, to check that, I can type cd.mnt. And if I do a less now, so I see all the drives that maps. In your case, it could be more or less, depends on how many drives you have. So this is the full Linux version. So you can type any Linux command like pwd. Yeah? Or for example, we can also check a version of our Linux kernel typing uname minus a. We will be able to see our kernel name, host name, the Linux kernel release when it will be released, the architecture, the CPU architecture, as well as the hardware platform, as well as the name of the operation system. Because this is the uh, Linux standard-based release, uh, or LSB release, so I can type the command LSB release minus A, and I can see that I really run Ubuntu 20.04 on my Windows subsystem for Linux. And the last thing, uh, we can jump to the Windows uh, PowerShell uh, and uh, type WSL command minus L minus V to just check what virtual machine is running because you can run multiple versions, for example. You can run Ubuntu 18.04, uh, 20.04, and then you can jump from one machine to another machine, switch machines, and etc. So right now, as you can see here, I'm running only one virtual machine, which is state running. And the version 2 means that I'm running this uh, distribution on WSL version 2. So congratulations, you successfully run your Linux distribution on Windows 10 using the Windows subsystem for Linux. And this Linux distribution is fully integrated with Windows operation system. So for example, you can see the Windows file system on your Linux machine. This is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And please, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss my next videos about those amazing tools like Builder, Podman and Docker. Thank you again and see you next time. Bye!